everyone hope you are keeping well today is a beautiful day that God has given and we need to give him all the glory all the honor because he deserves all the glory all the honor because God really created you and I so I just want to talk today about giving God the glory and in Psalm 115 David tells that not to us but to your name give glory because God's name is above all the other names and he deserves the glory. I want to talk to you about why we should give all the glory to God. He has blessed us. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, it says that God has richly blessed us, blessed his children. So Father God has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in heavenly reign. This means that in Christ we have received all the benefits of a relationship with God. We have been chosen as his and as his children. So he has blessed us. That's why we need to give him glory every day when we get up in the morning. Even though we have troubles and even though we have a lot of things in our mind, we should always remember that he deserves the glory. He has made us live to another day. He has given us a good night rest and he has provided for us. He has been faithful in the past and he's going to be faithful in the future. So we have been so much blessed. So that's one reason we should be glorifying God. The second one is he has chosen us. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 it says, Father God chose us in him to emphasize that salvation depends totally on him and not us. We are not saved because of our works but because of God's love and free gracious salvation so the second one is he has chosen us before we were born in our mother's womb God says that he has chosen us and he has chosen each and every one of us so that's why we need to give him the glory because he has picked us he has chosen us he knows everything about us and he has chosen us and when he chose us he gave us salvation that is, when we confessed our sins, he forgave our sins and he accepted us to his family. So that's why we need to give him glory. And he is worthy. And the next one is, he has predestined us. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5 it says, Predestined means marked out beforehand. And is an, another way of saying that salvation is all God's work and none of our own doing. So the next one is God has predestined us. Do you know that we don't know how long we're going to live? We don't know how, we don't know anything about the future. But God, he predestined us. He knew us before we were born. And he decided that he chose us and he predestined us. So our destiny, he knows what's going to happen in the future. He has everything in his hands. He knows everything. And the next one is, he has made us accepted. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6, it says that he has made us accepted. Father God freely and graciously accepts us even if we don't deserve it. Not only that, he loves us as much as he loves Jesus. So God, he, he, has, he has loved us so much and he has accepted us. And God accepts you just as you are. Because Jesus said that I came to earth to save the sinners. I came to earth to save the unrighteous. So God accepts us just as we are. But only thing is he's holy and, and he cannot handle the, he cannot um, be in the presence of unholiness or sin. So that's why he sent his son Jesus to die for you and me. So that we can become holy and acceptable in his sight. And he has accepted us with fully arms wide open as the prodigal son was running to the father and the father was accepting him no matter how dirty he was he hugged him and embraced him so just like that our God our Heavenly Father accepts us and the next one is he has redeemed us Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 it says Jesus's blood represents Jesus's death through his death and his riches of generosity of his gracious favor he paid the price for us he has redeemed us 
you know that those days they had slave markets and people had to pay price to set the slave free so just like that God we were all slaves we were all in our sins Jesus paid the price by his blood and because of it we are set free so he has redeemed us and the next one is he has abounded he has abounded towards us Ephesians chapter 1 verse 8 it says God's grace has been lavished on us we have received generous overabundance of God's love grace and favor so he has abundance towards us so he doesn't give us a little tiny bit of love but he pours out his love upon us and he says in the Bible that he sings over us while we sleep his love is overflowing unending and whenever you experience his love you can feel the overwhelming it says like um, uh, the, um, it says that his love is overwhelming it floods you as if you're drowning in his love because his love is overwhelming he doesn't give us a little bit of love but he gives himself fully and the next one is he has made known unto us Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9 in his love and mercy father God planned to save and redeem us from the foundation of the earth his plan of salvation was consummated in Jesus Christ so he has made known unto us he he came he sent his son Jesus we didn't seek him but he made himself known to us he sent his son Jesus for you and me to die for our sins and made himself known to us and he has given us inheritance so that's the next one he has given us inheritance in, in inheritance is something you don't earn it's bestowed upon you at the decretion de of another we have been inherited we have got the inheritance when when a father has children and they the father father's inheritance is their children's so just like that our heavenly father has inheritance for us and he says that he's going to prepare a place for us in heaven he's already prepared a place for us he has inheritance and all his health all his joy all his peace all his wealth all his prosperity that's all belongs to God's children that's our inheritance peace love and joy unending next one is he has sealed us Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 the Holy Spirit is the seal so he has sealed each and every one of us we have been marked with the seal of the Christ so that we are redeemed we are saved so God that's why he is he deserves all the glory all the honor all the praise because he has done so much for us he's done everything for us we just only have to walk with him just like he prepared the garden of Eden for Adam and Eve and they only had to walk with God and fellowship with God that's all they had to do God has already done everything for you and I we just need to walk with him we just need to fellowship with him we just need to talk with him we just need to depend on him because he's already won every single battle of yours he's already won he's seated on his throne and he has made seats for us and we are seated in Christ with him in heavenly places so I hope that you would believe it I hope that you would give him all the glory because he deserves the glory so so he God is all alone he need he needs to be glorified he ne he is a jealous God he doesn't want to share his glory with anyone he wants to get the full glory and so we have to be careful not to take away God's glory to ourselves. even if someone praises you for doing something good give him back the glory because you can express and say that it's not me it's nothing that I have done but it's all God it's God and deserves the full glory it wasn't me not anything that I have done and then we have to be careful not to do anything that could tarnish God's glory among unbelievers so because we are God's children let's imagine a father sends a child outside to the world and the son goes and does something really disgraceful for the father the father will be shamed just like that we are God's children so we have to be careful in how we live our life so that all the glory will go to God and next one is 
God alone is to be glorified because of his absolute sovereignty over everything. He controls everything. He controls the sun and the moon and the stars and everything. So he deserves the glory. To glorify God, avoid all idolatry. Not to um, have any idols before you. You have to give God the first place because he wants the first place in your life. Not to have any idol, idol in front of you that is above God because God deserves the glory. To glorify God, trust in Him as your helper, defend the source of all your blessings. A trust in God as your helper and defend. Trust in God as the source of all your blessings. To glorify God, praise Him all your days. So whenever you get up in the morning, start praising Him. Even if you don't have a song in your heart, start saying to Him, Thank you, Jesus, for another day. Thank you that you've given me breath. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my mother. Thank you for my father. Thank you for all these things you have given me. Thank you that you have been faithful. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for providing for me. We cannot ever thank him enough because he deserves all the glory, all the praise. So in Revelation chapter 4 verse 11 it says, In heaven, in the end of times, they're going to say, Who deserves the glory? Who deserves the glory? Who deserves? Is there anyone who deserves the glory? It is only Jesus Christ. He deserves the glory because he won the prize against death and he rose again and he saved each and every one of us from our sins. So I just want to talk to you and I just want to tell you if you want to accept Jesus as Lord of your life, please pray with me. Father, we come to you. We thank you that we can come to you boldly because we are your children. Lord, we come to you and we ask you to forgive our sins, cleanse our hearts and forgive our sins, our minds, our thoughts, our hearts. Help us to, Lord, focus on you and to give you all the glory, honor and praise in everything we do because you deserve the glory. We thank you for everything you've done in our lives. We thank you that nothing happens in our life without you knowing because you have already predestined everything for us. Thank you, Lord, that you are our Father and that you love us. Every, anyone who's listening, Lord, who wants to give their life to you, Jesus, I pray that you come into their heart. Be their Lord and their Savior. Forgive their sins as they confess with their mouths and that you come in and reign in their hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And we are careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to sing one song to you. It's about giving glory to God. It's called, You Deserve the Glory. God deserves the full glory, honor, and praise. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Amen. God deserves the glory, honor, and praise because there is no one like you. There's this beautiful song called, There's No One Like You. I can search all through the world, but I can find that there is none like you. I just feel like to sing that to you as well. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search through all eternity long and find there is none like you. Oh, there is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search through all eternity long and find there is none like you. He is amazing. I hope you get to experience my Lord, my Savior, my God. He is amazing. 
He gives me a song in my heart. He gives me joy unending. No matter if I go through fire or water or anything, God is my refuge and he is my stronghold so I would not be moved. I hope you get to experience our God. I just want to bless you and I wish and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend with your family and God bless you. I just want to show you outside. I love to show outside. It's outdoors are so nice. So that's outdoors. All right. So have a blessed day. God bless you. I hope you were encouraged. It encourages me when I encourage you because God is our strength. So encourage one another. So talk to another person and encourage them today. God bless you. Bye.